The term epipaleolithic is derived from the Greek words api, meaning after, and paleos, meaning old. It signifies the time after the old stone age, but before the advent of farming. The Epipaleolithic era bridges the gap between the Upper Paleolithic and the Neolithic, spanning roughly from 20,000 to 10,000 years ago. This period was prominent in regions like the Levant, where humans began to settle semi-permanently due to changing climates and environments. The Epipaleolithic saw a shift in subsistence strategies. While hunting and gathering persisted, there was a notable increase in fishing and collecting wild grains. Communities began to form, with evidence of huts and communal structures, suggesting a move towards more settled lifestyles. Art and symbolism flourished, with intricate beadwork, ornaments, and the beginnings of pottery hinting at a society rich in culture. Trade networks expanded, with communities exchanging goods, ideas, and innovations. The hallmark of this era was the microlith, small, specialized stone tools that were often used as arrow or spear tips. The Epipaleolithic wasn't just about survival, it was about community, culture, and laying the groundwork for the agricultural revolution that was to come.